Welcome back. And from the zoo is in to tell us a little bit about uh, something special here. Uh, sp special in that it's that time of year where it's starting to cool down. So uh, animals are finding places to hunker down. And that includes this species you have. Right. This is an ornate fox turtle. And they are native to Iowa. But you won't be seeing them very much because as these temperatures are starting to drop, they're going to start burrowing down and... Um, hibernating for the winter time. So they do more than just uh, hide in the shell to hibernate. They actually <laughs> they're actually, do. They, yep, they're going <laughs> to burrow down and he has these great claws on him right over yeah. here to help him dig down um, and then they'll be underground um, for the winter. Kind of a classic uh, turtle face on this one here with the, the pointed snout. <laughs> right. And how big, is this pretty small for the box turtle? No, this is, this is about the right size. Okay. And so they won't really grow uh, much anymore. Um, they do have the kind of the beak on the front and mm -hmm. he loves vegetables like plants mm -hmm. so any kind of plants and bugs that's what he's gonna look for so the, it almost the coloring almost looks like a tortoise because it's mm -hmm. such a light color what part of the state do you find most of these uh, these friends so these guys really like prairies mm -hmm. so sandy prairies and Makes sense. yep and they are related to tortoise because they do live on land mm -hmm. so they have the higher um, shell um, and then they have the feet that are made for digging instead of flippers for swimming so yeah they're one of um, two different tortoise species that we have in Iowa most of our turtle species are water based they, turtles. They like to dig too. Mm -hmm. I know uh, personal experience a, a mother in law had a tortoise for a pet. Mm -hmm. the, the digger, they. They will go, yes, they <laughs> dig quite a bit. So it's kind of fun to watch them. But, um, but so this guy, he, of course, we keep him nice and warm so that he yeah. um, is with us all winter long. But. Uh, as well as all the animals. So mm -hmm. for people that, um, you know, zoo brew is a big thing I know in the mm -hmm. summer, and the zoo is such a cool place to go. It's still a cool place to go in the winter time as right. well. It's just a different experience. So actually, if we got some snow tomorrow on Saturday, if we still have snow on the ground, that is the best time to come out and see the tigers play in the snow or the or the Japanese macaque, really? also known as snow monkeys, because it's just like us. We get excited when there's <laughs> snow here for the first time. So do they? So they're going to roll around and you know yeah. play in the snow, okay. um, bundle up. Um, yes. You know, when to come out. Um, a lot of our animals do go inside this time of year, but we do have indoor viewing. Yep. Um, and then we do have a couple events coming up, too. So okay. Red Panda Day on this Saturday. Okay. And then we have um, the Lion Cubs are celebrating their one-year birthday already. Perfect. Next weekend. And thank you so much for stopping yeah. in. Thank you. Short break.